Hello again, I'm Justin Heyer with Long Range Tactics. Today we're going to take our final look at the Hunter Series tripod from Revic, available from Gunworks. One advantage to a nice sturdy tripod for hunters is they can make an excellent shooting rest. As you can see here, I've got a short four inch section of Arca rail from Area 419 up on the front, and I can actually just clamp that head right onto the rifle. You can see here I can let it go, it holds its position. When I'm ready to shoot, square it behind the rifle. I can loosen that knob, adjust wherever I need to, lock up for the final shot, and bam. All right, that works pretty well. One thing about this setup, most people would prefer to see this Arca rail back further. I don't like how that feels on my hand when I carry the rifle, so I've got mine up front. Because of that, instead of locking into this head most of the time, I'm actually going to use a bag. So you can see here I've got an Armageddon Gear Schmedium. I can throw that down right on top of that tripod, rest the rifle on that bag, and I can do exactly the same thing I did before. Right, that's very stable. With a little bit of practice, you can get quite proficient with that. And I can't let it go because my rifle's not balanced properly. If I had a BDL set up, let's get rid of the mag, and I could push that rifle forward a little bit more, it would in fact balance on top of this. So that's something, as you play around with your rifle weight, you can actually make your rifle easier to shoot off a, you know, a platform like this, depending on how it weighs to help it balance. But again, the way I do it, I'm a mag in, drop down on that bag, get it up pretty much so the magazine's touching, and away I go. And I'll actually show you a video doing that in the field, my very first time shooting rock chucks off a tripod. To help me practice shooting off this tripod, I decided to do the craft challenge. For those of you that haven't seen this, you download the target off their website, and then you shoot 12 shots at a target to get a baseline. These 12 shots are shots from four different positions. You do prone, sitting, kneeling, and standing. I used a bipod for my prone position, but then I used this tripod as the support for my other three positions. And I just used the Schmedium bag as you saw earlier, and this was my final result shooting with my 22 after a couple times out practicing. I was actually really quite pleased with this to essentially be shooting just a little over one and a half MOA from all these various positions and breaking your shooting position between each shot. I was really quite happy with this. This is definitely indicative of what you can do with a little bit of practice and you can definitely see how this could extend your yardage during big game season. One thing we should talk about is glassing. This thing is rock solid while glassing. I absolutely love it. I have glassed in some fairly high winds and it just holds my glass right where I want it with very minimal vibration. However, I'm used to a center column. The lack of a center column allows this to be a little more rigid, a little more stable, especially as a shooting platform. It also makes it a little more stable as a glassing platform. However, as you can see here, it's kind of rotated around. If I'm glassing up this hill, Okay, and let's say I found something that I want to get a closer look at, right? And you can see I kind of had to bend just a little. I couldn't make an adjustment with the tripod without adjusting all three legs, either on the locks themselves or kind of adjusting the angles. But now let's say I've got what I want and I want to look at it with my spotter. If you run an angled spotter, you're going to run into an issue where the height is not the same, right? So now as I put this spotter in place, it's too high without standing up on my tiptoes to look through. The joy of an angled spotter, in theory, I could angle this down and be able to look through it the same, but my case doesn't allow for it. So it's something to consider that if you've got binos and an angled spotter, you're gonna have a slight difference. When I was rock chuck hunting, I'd just sit on my butt with my binos and kneel when I'd look through with my spotter. But depending on your situation, that may be a little difficult. It's not something that's impossible, just something you should be aware of if you're coming to a tripod with no center column and you're used to having one. Well, let's wrap up this review. As you can see, this tripod offers a lot of versatility for $500. For a hunter looking to get a tripod that's a little more stable to use as a shooting platform, it didn't take me much work to become 
you know, proficient and extend my distance that I wouldn't otherwise be able to do. If I couldn't get prone, maybe I couldn't shoot four or 500 yards. Otherwise with this, I don't think I'd have any problem making a shot on a big game animal, six or seven or even 800 yards with the practice I've done up to this point. And hopefully it will just even get better. From glassing perspective, rock solid. Like I said, you gotta learn to deal with those little micro elevation adjustments, depending on if you're used to a center column. Once you got that figured out, you're gonna be golden. If you have any additional questions for us, hit us below in the comments. Like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and join our Long Range Tactics Facebook group. Would love to have you as part of the conversation there. Thanks for watching.